Hi, Tina. Today we're going to talk about hammers. Most common being the claw hammer. This was probably the type that you've seen most of your life. Uh, hammer consists of two parts, basically a shaft or handle and a head. A head has two parts, a flat face and a clawed rear. You see, it has like little, you see? The way that you use a hammer, you hammer your nail in with the flat face and you pull your nail out with the clawed end. You see? Now, hammers come in various sizes, various shapes, various manufacturers, various materials. Here's another type of hammer. This is called a trim hammer. This particular hammer is a one-piece construction steel handle that runs all the way down inside this rubber shock resistant handle. But same again, the head has a flat face and a clawed rear end. The clawed back there, you see that? Same again. This type of hammer you would use for doing uh, hand pictures and, and maybe doing trim, setting cabinets. Uh, this guy has a lot of uses. Now, when you buy hammers, um, they are by the weight of the head. Um, not sure what weight this is. It might be a 12 ounce, might be a 14 ounce. Can't remember. Had it too long. So, hammers also come bigger. This guy is a framing hammer. Uh, he might be a 22 ounce, he might be a 24 ounce. And that would be the weight of the head. He might even be an 18 ounce. I can't remember. It's been so long. Now, this guy you're not really going to use inside of your home. Uh, he's too big. You're not going to use him for hanging pictures. You're not going to use him for doing cabinets. He is for framing. He is for tearing apart stuff or, or when you're working like if you're building a wall, you're going to use this type of hammer for that type of uh, construction. Um, again, he is a metal shaft with a shock resistant rubber hammer handle. Again, the head, flat face, and the clawed end. Same again. You see that? This one is a very well used hammer. I have had him a very long time. Okay, that moves us on to mallets. Now, a mallet is a rubber headed hammer that you would use not for driving nails, not for doing anything like that, but for uh, maybe moving something. You just need to exert a force on it. You need to hit it out of the way but you don't want to damage the surface of what you're hitting. So you would hit it with a hard rubber mallet. I don't really use a hard rubber mallet that often. I have had this so many years, I don't know where I got it from. Um, I'm just showing you so you know that this type of stuff is out there. There are other types of hammers out there for sure. Um, for a lot of different applications, but we're not going to concern ourselves about them right now. So that we move on to our next hammer and that is a sledgehammer. Again, a shaft with a handle and a head. This guy has a flat surface on one side and a, a pointed surface on the other. Now this would mainly be used in destruction. If you're tearing down a wall, something like that, you're going to use this guy. These are also sold by the weight of the head um, now, when you're going to select a, a hammer, um, you're going to go to the hardware store, pick them up, pick them up, hold them in your hand. You know what you need to do with it. You know what you need a hammer for. Um, so buy the appropriate one. Um, hammers can run in price range from kind of expensive, not too bad but to cheap. Now, um, with hammers, I tend to spend the money on hammers. I tend to spend about $25 to $30 on each hammer because of the name brand, Eastwing, 
Eastwing offers a lifetime guarantee. If you ever break or bend or, you know, even if you're misusing this hammer, they are going to honor that lifetime guarantee anywhere they sell one of these guys. So uh, you may spend more. If you don't lose it, you'll never buy another hammer again. This guy, you could probably purchase him for maybe $10, $12. And I guarantee you, you will be purchasing another hammer in your lifetime. They do the same job, though. It depends how much you want to spend. So, um, as with all hand tools, you can hurt yourself. You can hurt yourself bad with a hammer. Always wear safety goggles. It even tells you right on the shaft of the handle, you see? Always wear safety goggles. Always practice safety. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, you call me. Okay? Otherwise, I love you, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.